Hi there, welcome to another tutorial for Scabbard RPG Campaign Manager. We're going to cover three things in this very quick video. Power players, insiders, and assistant GMs. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so here we are on the home page for a sample campaign called The War of the Mountain Gods. You can see the link down in the description below. The most important thing you need to know before we get started in this video is you have to add your players as users in your campaign before you can do any of this, all right? They'll need a, a uh, username that you know uh, and you need to know what it is. You should see those players listed on the right-hand side. So you can see I have a player here for my campaign. Arcwind already added in, and uh, that allows me to now give them some extra privileges. All right, so what are we talking about when we say user roles? So this is the help page here for Scabbard. You can find that under the help and forum, and I just went to user roles and powers. The three we're gonna talk about today are the power player, the insider, and the assistant GM. And you can see, same as assistant GMs, exceptions, player and insider for the power player. So they can do a lot of stuff for the assistant GM, but they can't see or edit secrets, all right? They can't see or edit secrets. So they can add in new maps, they can add in new areas, they can build new organizations and factions and groups and items and notes, they can do all that kind of great stuff. So if you've got some really creative players and you want them their help to build out your campaign, you wanna give them a power player privileges. Then we've got the uh, assistant game master. Right, same as the the uh, power player. Plus, they can create, view, edit pages within the campaign, including secrets. But they can't see the GM only secrets. So you still get to keep some thing, things secret from your assistant GM. So say your assistant GM is also playing in your campaign, uh, you can keep that. Uh, certain things secret by using that bottom section called GM only secrets. And then of course there is the insider. This is for when you have a specific entry in your campaign, a location, a faction, a group, or an item, and you want them to be able to see those secrets. All right. But they won't be able to see the GM only secrets. So they still have, you still can keep some things uh, to yourself. And uh, if you are that kind of a GM and you have secrets within secrets and plans within plans and <laughs> anyway, let's see how to do it. All right. So we're going to go back to war of the mountain gods. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an assistant GM to my campaign. I go to roles up here at the top by clicking the gear, click on that. And I'm just going to add in one of these players into that box. Now, if you have multiple players, multiple assistant game masters, multiple power plays, which I have had in many of my campaigns, you're just gonna put a comma between each one. Very, very easy to use. Most important note here, don't use their character name, use their username. That's been a kind of a mistake and you may see that as uh, it, it can kind of can cause some configuration issues if you don't use their uh, actual username. So make sure you use their username there. You're going to click that. You click save and add that person in. I'm not going to do that because I didn't want this person to see all that. But I, now I'm going to show you how to use the insider feature. To do that, we're going to go to a specific entry. Okay. And you can see I've got a secret right there. Read this secret. And I want this player to be able to see that secret and I want them to have some privileges on just this entry, all I'm gonna do is go up here and I'm gonna click this gear and you can see insiders right there under the gear and I would add this person in. And again, commas to separate them out if you have multiples and click save and done. Now you see I have got insiders in there and that's the only way you can see it is up there with that gear. Wow, that was super simple. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them down below this video. The link to this uh, sample campaign is also there. You can see it. And uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next tutorial.